Hi guys, welcome to the Lores Studios. We'll be looking at SQLite Recycler View. Majorly, we'll talk about HERD in SQLite, which stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. Uh, in this particular application that I'll be showing to you in the GV, I'll actually be filling a beneficiary form, which on submit is actually going to uh, get all these records right there in the card view, which will sit in the recycler view layout. So we will have access to uh, probably updates uh, and get to swipe and delete. And at the same time, uh, we can read all data. So I'll be moving straight to Android Studio where I have the source part of this particular application and it will actually be split into two modules. Uh, this is the first part, so let's go through this. Uh, right there in the Android Studio interface, I have the build gradle where I actually uh, imported the compiles, which is the app compact version 7 uh, and the support design. In this support design 25.1.1, that's where you get your recycler view. and uh, you can as well specify other uh, layout, which is the coordinator layout, uh, right there in the support design. Now, if you want to use a constraint layout, you have to specify the constraint layout dependency. Uh, we have the card view of this particular design as well, 25.1.1. So once you have that, you synchronize Redo, and I'll be going straight to the rest, which is actually the layout files. We talk about the values, uh, the color, uh, we talk about the styles and we talk about the dimension. I'll actually be uploading the source file to my GitHub so that you can pick it out from there and uh, import it into Android Studio and get to set the application ready. So I'll actually be going through this. The layout file, we have the activity beneficiary list, the activity main, and the item beneficiary recycler. If you're familiar with recycler view, you have uh, a parent activity which will be extended to the items, you know, which will actually be handled by the card view. So that's how it works. Let's look at the activity main. Uh, this is actually the form uh, that populates, uh, that is actually going to take input data into the SQLite. So let's walk through the form. Uh, the, it's a nested scroll view, whereby it's actually going to, uh, the whole page will be, will be scrollable. That's just what that's is the nested scroll view is from the other support version 4 widget. Uh, we assign an ID to it called nested scroll view, a uh, layout with a night match parent. We gave a background color of uh, wine, I'll call this wine, uh, padding to the bottom left, right, top, or uh, 20 dp of this particular scroll layout. Uh, this is it right there. And uh, right inside the nested scroll view, we have the linear layout compact. Also from the version 7 widget, this is a material design layout. Uh, whereby, if you notice, a click on this show that this is right the layout, right inside it. So this is where all the edit text, the layout input, and the image, the image rather, sits. So the first tag we have right there is the app compact image view, which is actually for this picture called Soul. Uh, whereby we get that from the drawable. It's Layout gravity center horizontal, and we uh, decide to have the width and height of 100 dp. Let's move on. Uh, we have the first text input layout, uh, which is actually for the name. Can you notice this from year to year? We also have the edit text right inside it, and we have the int, you know, which is actually pointing to name. If you notice, there's an there's a int, and the input type is text, where the max maximum line should one. We assign text color to the int, and also text color to the edit text itself, that's the input text, which are all white. Uh, we have for the second one, which is for the ID. This is actually an input type of number, and uh, it's uh, wrapped around the form. And we have the next one, which is for email address. Uh, another one for the address of the uh, beneficiary. And uh, the country, we also talk about the country of the, of the beneficiary you're trying to send something to. And uh, right there, we have a button, you know, that actually triggers like the send or the register button. You know, it's the app compact button version 7 widget. Try to always use this now. Instead of the mere button, you use the version 7 widget app compact button. And we have a text view that actually says uh, the list of registered beneficiaries. This text view is also going to point you 
to the list to the recycler view list of all beneficiaries you've added to your SQLite database. Uh, let's get to look at the item itself, which is actually going to be a card view. Uh, this is what will be showed after you might have successfully registered your beneficiary. And the first target is the version 7 widget card view with the layout with the night match parent and wrap content respectively. We assign the layout margin top left, right, and even corner radius to the uh, card, you know, so that it's, you know, it's not going to be a flat rectangle. It's going to have a, a kind of curved uh, edges. So right inside the card view, we have a linear layout, which houses all the content. Can you see that? That's what the linear layout does. And right inside there, we have the first, which is the name, uh, the name and its uh, appropriate text view. If you notice, the first text view is actually at coded or from the string, got it from the string, while the second will be populated from the DB, you know, just saying name, probably name, John, you know, email, John at example.com, address, New York, country, USA. So that's just what that's going to depict. The same thing goes for the email, or uh, the same thing goes for the address, and likewise for the country. So that's just what the items will look like right on the card. Now let's look at the activity beneficiary uh, list XML. This is the recycler view. You know, the recycler view houses the card view. That's just how it is because recycler view is just like a list view. For us to be able to scroll, card view is for each row. You know, get that uh, right. So right there, if you notice the uh, the activity beneficiary list is actually the layout, while the item beneficiary it's the card that will sit on each recycler, you know, layout. So that's that. Let's get to look at the values. In the values, we have the colors. We play with color. We change the color primary to kind of uh, wine. The dark maintains the blue, and we have the accent change to white. You know, just look at uh, we just play with colors here, and also we maintain the dimension, the activity horizontal margin, which is always sixteen dp with a fat the vertical. And strings, we added some string values, very much recommended. You know to. Uh, create all string values in the strings XML. Mean, don't add code string values so that you know you might have forgotten that you've used this in different places. You have code one, it's not going to reflect in you know, it's going to be cumbersome for you. So, you, imputing uh, your string values into the string XML and calling it directly from there will be much easier. Uh, the styles XML, this is where this like uh, the theme of the application where we have the parent theme, which is the app theme. And we have for no action bar, you know, most times you specify that you don't want an action bar, whereby you specify the window action bar to be false and the no title to be true. We also have the app overlay, app bar overlay, and the pop-up overlay. Sometimes you use this when we talk about draw layout and some other uh, version 7 for widget support. So that's that for the rest. And the drawable here, whereby I have uh, the logo, which was used, and also the search bar, uh, Vector graphics, you no. Know, uh, you can also import that. Just uh, import vector graphic from REST as a way you do it. REST new. You call on the vector asset. You get the vector graphics done. So from here, I'll be adding straight to the Java classes. And in the Java package, I have sub packages: adapter, helper, model, and SQL. Adapter and those the recycler view layout. Why the helper is an input validation to validate the form. Uh, we have the model, which is uh, the, the encapsulation, the get and set method for uh, the data, which we will actually be saving and also be calling from the database. And we have the SQL itself, which is the helper and the contract. The contract actually saves static uh, columns of your database where the helper uh, actually uh, establish the, the communication with SQLite database using the open helper and uh, we have the activities here, the least activity and the main activity. That's the two activities we'll be talking about. First, let's look at the main activity. Uh, the main activity extends app compact and implements on click list now. Where I get the on click list that is the button. The button to save to DB uh, has been attached with the click list now. And we set uh, some fields here 
first field for the text input layout and also for the text input edit text. You know, we have a layout, we have a text edit text. Edit text is just the input. You know, very, very important. And also for the button and the text view that actually sits below the farm. And we have, we call on the input validation and also the database helper and the model, which is the beneficiary. Very needed. Now we have the onCreate method where we're passing three methods, the init views, the init objects, and the init listener. We get to know what all that is doing. The init view is initializing the views, calling its appropriate ID to the fields. That's just what that is doing for the layout, for the input layout, and also for the edit texts, you know, of all the form details. You know, that's what it's doing. And also for the register button and the text view, the compact text view of the beneficiary list. You know, that's what the init views uh, does. And this is passed into the onCreate method. You need to pass into the onCreate method so that the, the activity will be launched, will be read. You know, without that, this will just be sitting right there without using. And now the initializing listeners, we need to set onClick listeners to the appropriate uh, items. First to the button, the second to the text view that sits underneath the button. You know, and now we have the initialize object, which is to initialize the object to be used. The first object is the validation. We use the validation class. We also use the database helper. We instantiate them based on their class and passing the activity as a parameter, which is this particular. So using this, you can also use activity. Activity also calls on this, which is the main activity. And also beneficiary, which is from the model. We get to look at all, all the things that they have. Now on click. On click, we have two items to click. First is the button. Second is the app compact text view. Let me quickly show you this. Uh, probably you might have forgotten what we are clicking. So that I want you to really understand how I'm actually going through this. Uh, now let's look at the item beneficiary. So it's going to be the activity main. Uh, whereby I have... The app compact button and also the text view. Which actually is just have a text of list of registered beneficiary. That's even without registering new beneficiary, you can access the list of the registered beneficiary you've actually done. So that's what that's doing. Uh, so that's for that's why we need to attach uh, an on-click listener to it. And at the same time, we we'll pass the intent, which we obey the ID, the name, email, address, and country. Hope you understand that. Now I want you to look at the method closely. Uh, I call it post data to SQLite. Get it? Uh, now it calls the input validation. If the edit text is filled, which is for the text beneficiary name, uh, it's going to say enter full name. That's if there's an error. That's a string of an error if it is not filled. And uh, for the same time, for the email, it's going to say enter a valid email. And uh, for the now for it's going to check the user. Probably the user the user have been registered in the, the list you know if that is successful and is going to actually set the id set name email address and country you know it's going to get the text and the string and trim them up and actually add them to beneficiary there is a method called add beneficiary right there in the database helper that's actually going to assist us to add all this value to the sqli database we'll get to look at that uh shortly and after you must have had successfully it's going to actually push you or it's going to call an intent to the beneficiary leaks activity as triggering another intent and that intent uh, that list activity is actually going to be uh, the recycler view uh, layout they're actually going to uh, populate the name the id the email the address and country of all registered beneficiary you know that's just what that does so it's actually going to set the text, the input, the edit text to be null or empty, you know, at the point of process. So that's that for the main activity. Now let's get to look at some of these core aspects that were used. Uh, first of all, they use the, the validation. Let's see how the validation works. Uh, it's actually called the context. Now if the input edit text is filled, you know, it's actually going to check if it's empty. If it's empty, it's going to set an error message, or if not, it's going to uh, set error enabled to frost. You know, now it's going to check for the email. That's for the text email as well. Uh, it's going to 
uh, check for if the input edit text matches. You know, that's the value of one and two. You know, these are some validation. You can ask, actually add some other uh, high level validation. Probably you want uh, the email address to uh, confirm with the uh, regular expression. You want uh, some other funky things to happen while validating. So this is where you actually pass everything. Just call it into the main activity. It's actually going to and do that. We'll get to look at the adapter later on. And uh, let's look at the beneficiary. This is just uh, this get a set method called encapsulation of each values. Get the ID, set the ID, get the name, set the name based on the data type. You know, the email, set the email, the get address, set the address and also the country. That's that. Now let's look at the SQL. Very important. This is one of the major aspects we need to focus on. Beneficiary contract. This is actually going to uh, this. This is just like a class that specify all static final string. The column names. You no, know, it actually houses the table name and also the colon names that were used in the uh, database. If you notice, I have the table name as beneficiary. Uh, we have the column beneficiary name, email address, and country. You know, we actually assign a variable name to each one of them. So that's that for the contract. Now let's look at the database helper. This extends the SQLite open helper. Uh, what about we initialize two fields? Database helper and the SQLite database. Now we have the database version. You can you should start your database version with one. But any change on the table, probably you want to add a column to a table, you know, after you might have created it at first, it's advisable to uh, update your database version just to two so that your application will still be at the same state. It's not going to like uh, be confused on which database version you're using. Just update to one. It's going to catch the new change. That's what that does. And you have the database name, which I actually gave a name. And now we have uh, this statement to create a table. Let's create table. You should be familiar with SQL. That's the structured query language before you can actually uh, double well when it comes to SQLite database as well. Because SQLite database is just a subset of the SQL uh, itself. It's just uh, a light version of SQL. Now we have the table name specified. Uh, we have the columns now. The first column is the ID, which is integer, no, not null. We have for the beneficiary name, we have for the beneficiary email, we have for the address, and we have for the uh, country. You know, these are all values that are very important, needed. You know, these are the columns that you'll be needing. And now you also need to drop the table. That should be a method to do that. That drop table if it exists based on the name. You know, now if you notice, it's having two uh, identifier. First, the beneficiary contract. And also the beneficiary entry. Let me show you this. The beneficiary contract, which is the parent class, and the inner class, which is the beneficiary entry, before you now call each column name. That's how it works. So let's continue with what we got. Now we're going to look at how to add. Let's let's quickly look at the add beneficiary, which brings us down here. This is being called when uh from the main activity, you know, when you actually get all values or all, all validation set if you notice we trigger the add beneficiary here now let's look at what that method does you can share the sqlite database create an object called db and we call the content resolver that's the content values uh, what about we put the beneficiary id we get the id which is actually from the model the beneficiary and also we call the column for the beneficiary name, we get the name. We did the same for the email, for the address, and for the country. Now we run the statement DB insert to the table name. You pass a null value and also for values. You know, this null uh, is very important. You have to specify there. And these values will be for all uh, data that has been put into uh, the content values, which is also the content uh, resolver. Now you check for user, but we won't be talking much about that. We'll talk much about the get all beneficiary. Now you need to fetch your beneficiary, which will actually be saved into the adapter. Now we have the columns that we use, ID, name, email, address, and country. Now we have our sort order, 
which is actually going to sort based on the beneficiary name in an ascending order and uh, we have the beneficiary list which is uh, like an array list uh, passing the model which is the beneficiary class they get a set and now we still call instantiate the SQLite database and also we call the cursor which is for the database the cursor is just like an it's not a pointer to each uh, row you know when it comes to SQLite or database anyway so now we're going to query the table name which is actually the first uh, level and now the columns that we call the columns are just set from the string you notice over here and uh, now we're going to pass null. the first null is for the where clause the second is for the values for the where the other null is to group the row by the rows and the last null is to filter by which row and you're going to have a sort of order which I've actually specified which should actually sort by beneficiary name in ascending order now we're going to iterate through now if cursor moves to first what you're going to do you're going to set the values that you got set the id you know set the name set email and now if you're setting this is the way you, you call each database uh, values cursor get string and wrapped around you know if it's a string value if it's an integer you call integer pass int i know you now call the cursor get column index as a column index of that particular column name you know that's just it as how to get that now you now add you know, to the beneficiary list all values that you've been that have actually been set into the beneficiary class you know by the using what we call the set now we're calling the set methods you know now you add it to the list so while the cursor moves to the next value to the next to the next to the next once it gets to the last you know now you're calling all data right in the database sqli database that's what that does and you close the cursor also close the db you return this beneficiary list which will be needed where in the adapter so let's go down to the adapter which will be the last to talk about the beneficiary recycler adapter that extends recycler view adapter and do we implement anything oh, i don't think so nothing we just call the view order and its adapter now we have fields the list beneficiary if you notice we're going to populate this beneficiary down to the view order and uh we have the beneficiary circular adapter constructor that actually takes the list beneficiary and the context now we initialize them using the, this keyword let's get to look at the view order that extends the recycler view order. this is where we set our our fields text view name email address country and even image overflow that's uh, when i was trying to use uh, a more button uh, now we call the super class of the view this is a constructor of the beneficiary view order if you're familiar with recycler view all this should not be new to you you get the view by id of the name email address and country this is when we talk about what when we talk about the card view you know we need a card view to actually do all this for you us now if you notice we inflated the layout active item beneficiary recycler which is the card view you know and now on bind view order we need to bind the data to the view now we call the text view name which is for words which is for the recycler view based on the values here you know because we actually find the view by id we've gotten the view by id uh, so we we have a pointer to somewhere at the card using the card layout uh, we have for the email for the address for the country now you set the text based on the list beneficiary that was passed from the db you get the position you get the name now because you've been able to set at first to the beneficiary class which is this you're able to set all values now you're getting it this time around so that's why you call the get method on it get the email get the address get the country and you set it to this value which was specified in the item beneficiary recycler view which is this this layout so now it's going to set to each one of these layouts the email the address the country if you should notice look at let's look at the id of the name which is text view name let's go back to the adapter text view name see we get to find the view by id 
of this text view name. Can you see it? We pass it into text view name. Now we are setting the text. Set text. List beneficiary. Get the position. Get the name to the text view name. So that's how the same goes for email address and country. And uh, let's look at our manifest. Our manifest we must register uh, the activity that was used. We use the beneficiary links the TVT and uh, which is actually pointed to the parent, which is the main activity. And we also have a dedicated theme for it, which is app theme, no action bar. You know, uh, and uh, we set the retention to portrait and we give it the label of beneficiary details. So that's just how the application flows. And in the second part or in a pre pre subsequent videos, which I'll be doing, consigning the crowd, create, read, update, and delete of recycler view. I'll be improving more on this probably swipe to delete or search using sorting and also uh, we might start to update but this is just the basic introduction of how to save to a database and how to read your values from the database so I'll be showing you the screen sh the screen uh, the, the screenshots or uh, also uh, the uh, application right there in the emulator so that we'll be able to see how the application actually flows and how it's been displayed actually show this right in a little so don't go anywhere stay by so here we go with the application if you should notice we have our interface with uh filled with wine and we have the fields uh with uh a hint color of white so let's fill in the form and let's have and we have a scroll view it's a layout of a scroll view you know, all layouts is being added with the scroll view so let's have the first name, which will be, let's call it Michael Polly. Let's assign an ID of 234. Email address Michael Polly. That's example. That's camp. address NYC country USA and let me scroll to register can you see this click on register beneficiary will actually save this to the DB with registration successful I have you know the first layout Michael Pali that's the name email address and country let's add one more beneficiary uh, let's call Rita Dominic ID of three four five email Rita Dominic at example that can address LA USA. So let's register this beneficiary. Register. Can you notice the second card list of Richard Damnick? And we can improve more of this public get have a search to sort through and also swipe to delete. So that will be the next uh, tutorial on signing this particular uh, card. Create, read, update, and delete. So let's go back and uh, let's get to probably you just. You just launched the application and you just want to know the list of registered beneficiary without filling a new one you can click on this it's still going to bring out the same uh, page so this is what the application actually is so i will employ you to get the source code and also uh try to uh add more to it if you can and if you can't just follow along with what i've explained here so leave a comment right in the comment section i'll be there to actually help you through Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a blessed time. Goodbye.